Right then, so I believe that Alex Pereira will destroy Jamal Hill at UFC 300. And I honestly believe Alex Pereira will be fairly dominant in this fight. I really do think he will be, uh, to be fair. I <clears throat> I just feel like overall Alex Pereira, he's the much harder hitter. I No, but to be fair, Jamal Hill does hit hard. But... Pereira's the hard, uh, quite a bit of the harder hitter. Pereira hits ridiculously hard. And he's really clean with his work as well. Times his shots well. You know, he takes his time with what he does. And I feel like he'll eventually be able to get to where he wants to be, walk Jamal Hill down, and eventually knock him out. Uh, it, I mean, but yeah, it could be tough at times. But Pereira, I feel like he'll take round one, find his way around it, land a few jabs and stuff, try and get into the correct range because obviously Jamal Hill's going to look to control this fight from range because he's the longer guy and, you know, got ridiculously long reach with his arms. And, you know, I, I, I feel like Jamal Hill's going to try and look to... I, I feel like he's going to look to try and keep Pereira off him, tee off him uh, and, and, you know, uh, tee off at range. And, you know, pick his shots. But Pereira's going to be looking to try and get on that inside. And I feel like Pereira, he's going to be be beating up the leg of Jamal Hill a lot. And with how long Jamal Hill is, I feel like he's there for leg kicks for Pereira. And I feel like a lot of this fight is going to be in that first round. Pereira's going to really be beating up that lead leg of Jamal Hill. And you know, as the fight goes, he'll get closer and closer to where he wants to be. And I feel like he'll eventually be able to get Jamal Hill out of there, um, to be fair. And I feel like it could be round two or... I reckon round two, Pereira will get the job done. I reckon round two. I think Pereira will just be way too much for him, to be fair. He's much cleaner with his strikes. And, you know, I feel like at times, you know, as well, Jamal Hill does leave himself quite open, leaves his hands quite low at times as well. And I just feel like he's, I know, I feel like Jamal Hill's got a good style for that Alex Pereira will be able to deal with. And yeah, look, I am overall really looking forward to this fight. But I feel like Pereira is an obvious winner here. Uh, a lot of people see it close, but I honestly have a lot of confidence that Alex Pereira will, will be able to get Jamal Hill out of there. And I believe as well, ever since Alex Pereira has gone up to light heavyweight, you know, he's now a much better fighter than he was at middleweight. You know, the weight cuts nowhere near what it was. And <coughs> it's just made him a harder, even harder hitter, less strained, better with his work. So, you know, I feel like at this moment in time, Alex Pereira's unstoppable at, uh, at light heavyweight right now. I feel like he's going to be really, really, really hard to beat. And I don't think Hill's got the style for it. I, he'll just leave himself open, in my opinion, for Pereira's kicks. Pereira will mix it up to the body with some good body kicks as well. But mostly be beating up that lead leg, get closer and closer, pick his shots well, puts his, um, you know, put some good, com Pereira puts some good combos together as well. And, you know, Hill pro might get some success when Pereira is coming in with those, um, uh, with his shots. But I, I feel like Pereira is going to be able to outpower him. I feel like Pereira will be able to, you know, he's going to be able to move around well. And he, he I, I reckon he'll eventually be able to put Jamal Hill on that back foot and just tee off some big shots, land a big shot. And eventually, I feel like, can he knock him clean out? I, I honestly feel like Pereira... I know. I feel like it's probably going to be a stoppage. I don't think he'll knock him clean out. He'll be close to, though. He'll be close to. Pereira's going to lay him out with a big shot, and then he's going to uh, uh, be going with some big shots on the ground, and he'll get stopped. Um, <coughs> but, yeah, um, I just... I feel like, you know, people are questioning the chin of Pereira I have seen, but... I don't think I'm too worried about that, uh, the chin of Pereira. And as I've said as well, now Pereira's moved up to light heavyweight. He's less drained. And when you're drained, you know, you're you're more vul you're more vulnerable to getting knocked out, as we saw when Pereira fought Izzy in that second fight. He was really he was really drained going into that fight, Pereira. Let's be real. He was. But you know, now, you know, 
the, the weight cuts nowhere near as bad. I feel like, you know, it would be just fine. His chin will be stable and he's going to be all good in my opinion. And I feel like he will be able to destroy Hill and I feel like Pereira will be able to get a fair a, a fairly early stoppage as well. I'm, I am really sticking with round two. I am. I feel like Pereira is going to be moving around a lot, uh, to be fair, on the outside. Uh, and you know, coming in every now and then with some good leg kicks, landing some, uh, then landing some good shots up top. Uh, Perez can be really gummy with that leg and body kick, and he'll he'll eventually be able to walk. He'll he'll be able to find his way in, and he'll be able to knock him out. He'll be able to overwhelm him with some big shots on the inside, and he'll be able to get him out of there. Pereira hits like a truck. And, you know, Hill is good. Hill has got a good chin. But, you know, he's coming off an injury as well. I don't think, yeah, again, I just feel like all the uh, all the advantages and the momentum is on Alex Pereira's side here. So I'm backing Pereira to win this fight. Round two, stoppage. Yeah, I can't wait for it. It's going to be an interesting one. Does he have a chance? Yes. But, no, I'm fairly confident that Pereira wins this one. That's what I think people should put their money on. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.